If you are suffering from dandruff, I think by the time you know that anti-dandruff shampoos, they don't give so good results. You have tried many of them, but again, dandruff comes back and you are fed up of that. Let me tell you, dandruff is happening not because you are not using anti-dandruff shampoo. It is happening because the microflora in whole of your body is disturbed. It's disturbed over here also on the scalp. It's disturbed in your gut also. That's why you are suffering from dandruff. So if you want to treat dandruff, you have to balance the microflora of your whole body. You have to increase good bacteria in your body and those good bacteria will take care of bad bacteria and will provide good immunity also so that fungal growth doesn't happen. That's happening because of the over fungal growth on your scalp. So this can be removed but without use of any antibiotics or any of the chemicals. How? I'll explain you in this video. Hi, my name is Dr. Vivek Joshi and welcome to my YouTube channel. First, how to fix this problem? First recommendation is try to avoid the chemical shampoos. Wherever you are in the world, try to use the shampoos that are more natural, have no artificial chemicals to them. This will increase the immunity of your scalp. I tell you, my brother was suffering from dandruff and heavy dandruff, severe dandruffs. So much dandruff that it was coming on the beard also. It was on the nose also, side of the nose and pimples on the forehead. On the back also, he was having dandruff. So heavy dandruff. Why it was happening? Because he was doing night shifts. His sleep was disturbed. Sleep is very, very important if you want to treat your dandruff. If you're not going to have good sleep, no more herbs, medications, nothing is going to help. So make it sure to have good sleep if you are suffering from dandruff. And I tell you, my brother, as he changed his job, as he stopped doing the night shift, his dandruff vanished just like this. This is the power of sleep. Second thing that impacts a lot on dandruff is stress. I tell you one of my patients, he also was having so severe dandruff. As he started dealing in a positive way with the stress, he learned stress management. Dandruff just vanished. This is the power of living a happy life or how we react to the stress, how we take stress in our life. So if you want to treat dandruff, you have to have good sleep. You have to learn how to deal with stress. Nothing is going to work unless and until you are not going to fix these two elements. Second thing is, as I have told you, that this is happening because of the disturbed microflora. You are not having good bacteria. So what is the treatment? We have to put back bacteria in our body. How this is going to happen? Just by eating fermented food. For example, sauerkraut. If sauerkraut is not in your culture, then curd, yogurt can be a help or buttermilk can be a help. These things will help you. Don't have to eat them for long and every day. Even just consuming them two times in a day will be more than enough. Your gut bacteria are going to grow in the same way as in plant. When you plant a tree, what do you do? After planting, you pour water, you give nutrition to that plant and that grows into a tree. The same thing you are going to do with the gut bacteria. How? By feeding them with good food so that the good bacteria can grow. What are the good food for your gut bacteria? Fruits and vegetables. These are the food for good bacteria. Make it a habit of eating two fruits every single day. Your good bacteria are going to love you. They are going to enjoy that and they are going to grow more. So eat two fruits every single day. This is going to help you in digestion also. This is going to help in cleaning your intestine. So many big benefits of eating fruits. Don't drink juice eat your fruits. Make it a habit of eating two fruits and eating vegetables. It can be sauteed, it can be in the raw form as salads or cooked vegetables, not with lots of oil, but in general way as they are cooked with decent amount of oil or less oil so that you don't get only fat from that vegetable. I hope you got my point. So, so this is how the bacteria that you have inserted in your body are going to grow and this will help you in treatment of dandruff. Another thing that you have to do is 
putting good bacteria on your scalp also how this is going to happen you can apply curd on your hair if curd is too cold for you or you're not comfortable applying the curd or yogurt as a mask it can be applied on your hair and then you can rinse after 15 20 minutes if you are not comfortable with that just wash your hair with buttermilk and then rinse your hair with just normal water this will also help another thing you can do is applying oil on your scalp this oil is going to kill the bad bacteria and the fungus that's causing the bacteria and will help the good bacteria to nourish you can use coconut oil you can use olive oil you can use diluted tea tree oil you can use neem oil that can be applied on hair those ones these oils are going to help you can take two tablespoon of coconut oil add two tablespoon of olive oil to it mix them all together and then do a good massage of your scalp light massage do this in the evening keep this oil on your hair for whole of the night i understand you have to take care of your pillow also so do it and in the morning wash your hair with a mild shampoo or chemical free shampoo or the shampoo that is made up of less chemicals even i have on my website my own oil and that oil is mixture of coconut oil olive oil castor oil and almond oil this oil is thick and it looks like this it doesn't have a fancy smell it doesn't have any color because i am not going to add any fragrance any color to my products and no artificial chemicals so you can use this one either you can use the oils that i have told you in this video or you can mix the olive oil and coconut oil as i have told you third thing that can help you is use of bhumi amlaki bhumi amla as you know if you're following my channel that that's the best herb for your liver that's the best herb if you are suffering from gas bloating indigestion it takes care of your intestine also and liver also half to one teaspoon two times in a day after food this is how you can consume it if your intestine will be clean you'll have good digestion this will cure your dandruff you have to cure from your gut so bhumi amla is an herb that can be an option if you want to clean your gut if you want your gut to be healthy what are the things you should avoid if you are suffering from dandruff first is sugar you have to cut down on sugar second is carbs if you are eating lots of carbs lots of junk you have to cut down on them you can try this if you are suffering from dandruff just eat more sweets one day and you will see that your dandruff has been increased a lot just on next day this is how your body is going to react because the sweets or the sugar that you have consumed that is food for those bad bacteria and bad fungus that's growing on your scalp and they are going to love it they are going to grow and your dandruff is going to grow so if you want to treat your dandruff you have to cut down on sugar that's for sure and lower consumption of carbs that's also you have to do you can even notice that an overweight person suffers a lot from dandruff or a lady who is suffering from pcos polycystic ovarian syndrome they mainly suffer from dandruff why because in both the cases the insulin is high in the body or the person is going towards insulin resistance so if you want to have good scalp you want to have healthy body you have to keep your insulin in check you don't want certain spikes of insulin in your body and for that you have to eat clean you have to eat more vegetables you have to eat two fruits every day you have to add roughage to your diet that's very important what else you can do to keep your insulin in check is exercise if you do exercise it's going to work as a stress buster plus it's going to improve the insulin sensitivity of your body so these things are going to help if your cholesterol is high you are having fatty liver you are overweighted these things are badly going to affect your skin and the microbiome of whole of your body this can lead to many of the health issues and one of them is going to be dandruff so you have to treat whole body as in one unit and you are going to be amazed what else you can do is eating on time eat your dinner between 6 to 7 pm this is going to help you a lot think it as in medicine i know that these are simple simple stuff it's better to tell about the medicine but this is the real deal this is how you are going to be cured i challenge you whatever i have said in this video try them 
that your problem with the dandruff will be cured. I very much hope that this video will be helpful for you. I want you to try whatever I have said and write your feedbacks in the comments down below because I'm interested in your comments. I give information. I want you to try and I want to see the feedbacks because I'm sure that whatever I'm saying, these things are going to help many people because I have seen them in my practice working. That's why I share my knowledge with you also over here so that this can help help you so try them out i'll be waiting for your feedbacks in the comments down below in nutshell you have to take care of your gut you have to have good digestion no gas no bloating you have to eat on time you have to eat two fruits and vegetables you have to do exercises good sleep less stress applying oil on your scalp three to four times in a week that's it this is going to help see you in next video with a big smile up to the time smile more stay happy stay healthy